this is a bench that I'll be working on at the moment. It has 40 Dutch buckets on it with trust tomatoes in them. We grow them every year on this bench, but this year I'm going to modify the bench slightly from last year's because we've had such a good response on the cauliflower, as you can see over there on the back bench, that I set up last year, modified it. So what I'm going to do this year, I'm going to do the same with this bench. And the pipes you can see running along here, I'm going to lift up and put inside or put on top of the bench instead of running them underneath and having to crawl underneath and attach the, the connectors as in those for the excess nutrient to run out into the pipe, PVC pipe to run back to the reservoir. This is what I'll be doing today. This is a pipe that will now be sitting up here instead of sitting down underneath like that one. We're going to put a couple of strips of 750 by 25 millimeter pine down there today and raise it up both sides and then we'll align the bucket over the top in the hole and it'll sit there like that. That hole has to be opened up a little bit. It's not quite large enough, but that's what we'll be doing today. And I'll be taking videos throughout the day as I'm making some progress on it. I'm starting to align the, the drainage pipes along with the, the 3B2 wood that we're going to sit the, the Dutch buckets on. You can see they're getting placed there, just checking, making sure the measurements are correct prior to nailing and screwing them down, which is the next part of the operation. You can see the 19 mil line in here that feeds a nutrient to the plants and I'll replace these four mil lines. I'll replace these four mil lines this year. The UV sort of knocks them about pretty much. So they'll all be, be replaced. But we're starting to get there on the on the next part of the, the trip. I'll now um, bring the drill out and pre-drill some holes in the end of some of these put some three inch nails into them and some 60 mil screws and that'll hold those 75 by 50 mil pieces of pine in place and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I've got the first couple of rows nailed down and I'll move three of our cauliflowers that were starting to leak over on the other bench. The drainage holes had clogged up, it meant I could only pump nutrients for about two minutes instead of five or six. So I want to be able to get the full volume of nutrient into the plants to keep them going. So I've moved these three across to here now and I'll and I'll hand feed those. They can then run into the other reservoir. That won't cause any problems. And we've got a couple of gaps over there on our winter crop of cauliflowers, but that's not a problem because they'll all now get five or six or possibly even seven minutes, five times a day, and that will give them a lot of nutrients. All right, back to work again. I've finished three of the four rows now. I'm gonna start putting the Dutch buckets on them to see how many more we need. I think we're short sure about 20 for this year because we've got them over in the, the winter veggies growing section. These are the three cauliflowers that were clogging up, that had clogged up outlets on them and they were spilling the nutrient onto the floor. So I've moved them over here for the moment. And I think I've cleaned them out by putting a shish kebab stick up the, up the drainage pipe on them. So I'm going to put them back into the system now and keep an eye on them and make sure that they don't flood and see how they go. But anyway, you can see it's coming along. I've got the last section to do over here now, that one there, the rest are done. And then I'll start checking out to see how many more buckets we need for this year's tomato crop. The Dutch bucket bench has been finished now. 
all the rails are in place. You can see the, the pipes, the PVC pipes that carry the nutrient back to the reservoir, which is located down there. And there are 20 of the buckets that will go on. Some of them need to be modified, and I'll explain that to you in another video very soon how we do that. A few leather seedlings there. That's one of the cauliflowers that had a blockage in the exit pipe so that the nutrient can run back to the reservoir. So I'll put it over on this bench over here for the moment and I'll fix that up later and it'll go back in. A couple of really early tomatoes or late ones from last year actually. But we're now ready to start getting organised on that and we'll see how that goes. 